Woo. Hey, ladies. Happy Tuesday, guys. Mary, Marnita, Dietra, Deborah, Ty, Rashida, Doris, Tanya, Nakia, Sweet Jean. Hey, guys. What are y'all doing on this terrific Tuesday? <laughs> Hey, Celeste, it's funny because some of you guys' names, we actually are just, um, some of you are received, if you are in the master class, we just actually um, drafting up some emails for you guys. Hey, Lakita, Latasha, um, I see my Draven master class, ladies. So today is Business Tip Tuesday. And I told you guys I would be coming here, giving you guys some tips on Tuesdays, giving you some motivation on Mondays, welcoming all my new members on Wednesdays. What are we doing on Thursdays? Oh, so we came up with something. Yeah, this or that. So on Thursdays, it's going to be like some comp some comparison stuff. We may be comparing products. We may be comparing company uh, products, especially when it comes to fabric. So I thought that would have been cool because I have like fabric from almost everywhere, not to mention our own. Um, so that, that's what we're going to be doing on Thursdays, like for now, until we change it up, <laughs> it'll be this or that and showing you the differences and seeing what, what uh, products you guys uh, prefer, which ones you guys are using, what companies you guys prefer. That way, not only, well, I'm hoping y'all prefer the Posh Cabbie, but if you don't, it's definitely will help others see what the, um, you know, what the reputable companies are, why everyone is using them and what you guys recommend. I think that's very helpful to a lot of the newbies that's on this feed that ask the same questions over and over. So the more that you guys kind of help those guys out and letting them know, you know, where to get things from. Is, is, is very helpful. So it's easy for me to constantly plug my products, but y'all know I'm not that type of person. I support all companies. I support everyone in the industry. And I want people to just pretty much go where, um, you know, where the good companies are. So with that being said, that's Thursdays, this or that. Then on Friday, it is, it, uh, oh, Fun Friday. Yeah, Fun Friday. <laughs> So we'll be doing a couple different things on Fridays, not to mention our giveaways. Um, we're just going to be doing everything, kind of wrapping up the week and just like really, um, you know, I fire you guys up on Mondays. But on Fridays, I kind of just want to dwindle down, maybe have some fun, share a story, something like that. Right. So that's pretty much how it's going to look moving forward. Not to mention, I'm hoping you all watch the YouTube channel while we go on tour. Because I'm excited. We leave here in a few days and we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Vlogging. Um, what are we going to be doing, Jazz? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. So you guys just be, stay tuned. Any Anywhere between the 16th and the 28th is going to be a lot happening. You'll got, you guys will be able to see a lot. So normally I try and do it, but I am in it. So it's kind of hard for me to go live and conduct everything I'll be conducting. But now that we have the lovely Miss Jazz, you guys will be able to get uh, access to that footage um, uh, uh, much better than, you know, <laughs> than with me. Right. OK. So who we got? Who we got? Who we got here? Hey, Catherine, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Tammy. Um, Dasky, welcome back. Dasky, you were here with me yesterday. I'm loving the praise and we're still waiting. Nakia. Baby, y'all know I try. Well, you probably know I did try my little channel a few months ago, right? And I was great getting to it, but <clears throat> we had to. We had so much to do with YouTube, like switching my channel from a regular channel to a brand channel. All that I got a little discouraged because it it made all my other videos, not to mention my other channel, just disappear. So don't worry though, because we gonna we gonna get back into it. And not to mention, I'm still practicing. So when y'all see me playing with my looks, it's because I'm practicing. And I like makeup, baby, and and my hair. So I, y'all know when I normally, if I do my hair like this, that means the girl ain't got time to brush her hair. So I put these in. I put these in to kind of make sure I look presentable while I'm out there in them scrapes. Because sometimes I can't brush my hair in the morning; it just gets that busy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, show Candace. Candace, what's the status? Where we at? <laughs> you know, we leave in a few days. How we how we looking? <laughs> How are we looking on those aprons? Guys, shout out to Candace. Candace was in our... Candace, you got to help me out. I think it was that. No, I think it was Orlando. No, it wasn't Orlando. I think it was Atlanta. I can't, I can't remember. But Candace was in one of our other classes um, the earlier part of this year. I found out that my student is amazing at 
uh, printing, shirt press, graphics, all that case, all that stuff. So who not? We started to go with another company to print out aprons for class. But why would I not support one of my students? So Candace, I'm excited. <laughs> well, okay, she says going out today. Good. So guys, if y'all on this thread and we show up in class with no aprons, you know who to blame. Her name is Candace Love. <laughs> I can. This, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, Doris, I am going to be selling bundles again very, very soon. I'm hoping that no, I'm hoping that it can be completed by the time we come back, but we don't know. So, tomorrow, guys, join me tomorrow because I am going to do the Welcome Wednesday real quickly as a live. But tomorrow, I told you guys we're going to the fulfillment center. We're going to the warehouse to actually cut the samples and get the exact colors and find out exactly what do I have in stock so that we could properly put the SKU numbers and <laughs> there's a lot. But so we can do all that for the colors and for the fabric. And then they'll begin the kitting process, which is cutting it, packaging it, boxing it, whatever needs to be done over on that side of things. And as, early, as quick as that get done is when the site will go live. So you guys can actually order, um, order the fabric. So as soon as we do that, that's exactly when we'll be doing the bundles again. So I'm really excited about that because it'll be, I'm looking at this thing as being an easy, smooth, streamlined <laughs> process, right? That's how I'm looking at it. So as soon as that part is done, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to do things, um, do the pre-orders and things again, because that's how you get backed up. And I know I'm going to be gone and on the road for that extensive amount of time. And I don't want to cause y'all showing up at events and not having no fabric, baby. And I don't want to cause y'all blowing up my DMs and I can't answer because I'm in class. So that's going to happen. We just going to hold off until we are back on the 28th and fully functional to be able to serve you guys and get you guys what you need. Um, so tomorrow, join me because Jazz is going to be behind the scenes. She's going to do the recording so you guys can kind of see it, see what we have in stock. At least you'll have an idea of everything we have in stock. Um, like I said, there's a lot of new colors, a lot of new textures. I can't even really remember what I ordered. <laughs> the only thing I can remember that I didn't order and I wish I did was neon. Like now, now y'all want to come with the request. So now I'm getting um, requests about these neon colors, like the pink and the green. And I'm like, I ain't get that baby. <laughs> y'all ain't tell me that when I was asking y'all questions a month ago. So that's the only thing I can think of that I didn't get that you guys have been asking for. So just join me tomorrow. I'll tell you exactly when we're in route. I'm scheduled to be there. I didn't even send that email. Okay. I got to send that email to let them know the time. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about three o'clock, three, about three, three thirty. Um, when we going to get there. Um, so Nikia, not right now. <laughs> as far as swatching, you, as you asking about the swatches, not right now, because that would be a lot. You, you have to prepare them and have them available to ship out. So to cut up all the amounts of fabric is, I, I don't know what that process is going to look like. We have communicated and adding that because I believe everyone should have a swatch uh, because it's just, especially now, if I never knew now, I mean, if I never knew before, definitely know now, like there's so many different variations and color, like is a lot. <laughs> We will eventually um, have those things ordered, like in the actual uh, actual swatch book. But I think what we will be able to do right now is at least have the samples, right? Just cut a piece off. If you want to get a sample, uh, mail out a sample. But sometimes I think samples, unless you need something immediate and you need something very specific and you're just looking for a special shade of blue, then yeah. But if you like kind of want to see everything that's in stock. Um, so you can kind of look through and, and place an order that way. Yeah, I think it's everyone should have a swatch book. I, I believe so. So we're going to see. we going to see. Y'all bear with me. This is a long process. This ain't no, um, it happens in one day. It's a lot of people involved, a lot of moving parts. And now I'm just trying to make sure it's done the right way. I'm trying to make sure the parts that I mess up on all the time, I'm, kind of, I'm making sure that I ain't handling that part. <laughs> I tried to tell you, I'm making sure I'm not handling that part. Okay. All right. So Deborah for Philly, I mean, what? Me, what, what? <laughs> so yeah. So in all of the classes, guys, we will have kits available to purchase right then and there. Um, they will be physically with us for everyone that didn't um, uh, purchase it 
beforehand. And this is, I got so many emails yesterday because all your, all of you guys got your emails about class and location and all that stuff. I got so many emails about, I didn't get, I don't know if I got a kid. You had three options, <laughs> class only, class with a kit or class with all inclusive, which was a kit and fabric. And some of you guys, I get it. Money, baby title. You all, you know, you opt for the cheaper end, but I always try and push off for all inclusive because y'all come to class and then you practice with the stuff, but you, you excited. You want to take it home. I'm like, no, baby, that's mine. <laughs> like, no, you can't take it home. So I'm, I'm trying to gear you guys to move toward the all inclusive because I already know what it feels like when people want to take their stuff home. So, um, we will be sending out emails. Well, one thing I can tell you, do if you ain't paid seventeen hundred and fifty dollars, you do not have an all inclusive option. So that's a big jump from if you jumped on a promo, or whatever the case may be. Promos are only for class. That's a service. That's me teaching. Promos are not for products, which is physical, tangible things such as kits and fabric. Why? Because I gotta pay for those things too. <laughs> So I will I won't I don't pay I don't do promos on those because the cost is associated with what the cost is. But I will do a promo for or a class because it gives a lot of you guys the opportunity to come to class. Um I got a couple emails yesterday, like, well, I already got 20,000 kits. I'm like, all right, well, you you ain't got back kit, babe. Just come to class. <laughs> you just need these techniques and get partial proof. So that's the whole reason why I, I line things up that way. All right. Any other questions before I kind of get into it? Um, I love to do your AD. So we kind of wrapping that up now. I just had another young lady join my team. Amazing project manager. She actually was on my team before and I just amazing. So we are actually wrapping up, um, not wrapping up, but we're planning all that stuff. Not only the retreat, but also the two day masterclass, all my quarter three, quarter four stuff. Quarter three, pretty much done. But quarter four stuff is kind of what we're planning. So you guys will have like tidbits information of that um, as moving forward as it develops. So right now we're looking at October or November for the two day masterclass in, um, in Atlanta. And it's just really mapping out that entire first day. That's, that's what it is. And along with finding, um, the right venue and then giving you guys enough time to, you know, to, to book it, do your deposits and all that good stuff, because we were going to do it in September, but I said, no, nah, that may be too soon for some, but this, this beta class is only going to be open for 10 people. Like I said, it's a beta class. So it's not like a thing where I'm having this big old class. I'm not doing that. Um, day one will be uh, all the, if you have been in one of my classes and you realize the stuff that we don't touch on because it's so, it's so intensive with the draping part is all of the marketing, the pricing, all of the business funda fundamentals. Like that's pretty much what day one is going to be along with the basic elements of draping because the basic elements is kind of simple. We kind of breeze through that. But when we get into the, the hefty stuff, the techniques and all that, I really want to spend a lot more time uh, developing that uh, those skill sets. So that's pretty much how that's going to look. And then we're going to take that class and pretty much position all of the classes for 2022. Um, so again, you guys know, thank you for being along the ride with me. <laughs> I'm going to kind of keep you guys abreast of what's happening. But like I said, we are for the retreat. We are looking at October. And I wanna, I'm just going to get a, even if you're not attending the retreat, I just need some feedback, right? Real quick before I get into these tips. I know y'all like, I came on here for some tips, but I'm going to give you some. Hold on. Give me a second. So <laughs> real quick, because we did a poll in the group. And at first, the retreat was winning with the cabins, right? Like the cabins and up in Blue Ridge or we was going to go in Blue Ridge or Gatlinburg. But now it's like the hotels kind of outran that a little bit. So if you guys were looking to go to a business retreat, this ain't no draping retreat. There ain't going to be no draping happening at this retreat. This is <laughs> all, all things like that, right? Think think along that those lines. So if you were going on one, would you prefer to have it? Give me a one. For a uh, intimate setting such as a cabin, big cabin, not we're not talking about little cabins. <laughs> it would be like a six bedroom, seven bedroom cabin, or a hotel, a hotel where you have your own room, and then when it's activity time, you come out. So one, would you rather it be intimate setting where you're amongst like minded individuals and all you guys are in a cabin, right? That's give me a one for that. Then two, give me a two if you prefer the hotel setting where you mainly gather when it's when is activity time or whenever we are doing 
the agenda rundown. I need that information. <laughs> even if you like, nah, I ain't going to that retreat. Just if, if you was, <laughs> tell me <laughs> which one would be. Yeah, like the, the first, it was number one was first. So that kind of changed things because we had the cabin already. We had it set, right? But then I kept getting these, uh, the hotel setting. I say, oh, this is going to change some, some stuff. So it'll be, it'll be different empowerment activities. It'll be a bunch of fundamental business strategies, business tips, masterminding, but then it'll also be like some yoga, some mindset stuff. It'll just be different stuff. So now that everybody's saying hotel, that kind of changed things a, a little bit because the cabin had a different setting, which required or it allotted different activities, more intimate activities. Whereas a hotel, they kind of really has to be streamlined in a way, gathering people at the same time, making sure that you're at a remote location where you can access things. Okay. Hey, Carolyn. So yeah, y'all, y'all didn't change the game up on me. So now I got to figure out something else because we was like almost done with this retreat. Right. Um, so you, you guys will have that information though. Even we still want to do the same stuff, but it's like a lot of the cabin activities we won't be able to do because we won't be at a cabin, baby. So <laughs> That's it. So you guys will be having that information. Those of you that's on the committee, just giving you a, a, a heads up. If you're on the committee, like I told you guys, as long as my VIP members will be getting sometime this week, look out for messages. Um, you will be getting messages on what the next step is. And a lot of that will be a part of this retreat, a part of the two day class, not to mention a part of just different stuff we have coming up. It's a lot that we got coming up. And I need you guys, um, I need you guys input and I need you guys assistance and I need you to be a part of this whole movement. Cause it's a movement, baby. I don't know if you know, if you know it's a movement, give me an emoji, <laughs> but I want you guys to be a part of it because if it wasn't for you guys, it wouldn't be what it is today. So I definitely, I'm invested in you guys and I love you guys input. I take things you say and I turn it into solutions or strategies and things like that. So So that's next year, Nakia. She said, uh, "Ocean, uh, ocean front." So my, for my goal for next year to do a retreat is to actually go away somewhere international and do something super dope. But I gotta see how this one go first. <laughs> I gotta see how this one go. Like you know, people act the phone. And I don't know. So so let's send a ticket. Put a ticket into my team, and they will look that up and let you know. I could easily tell you if you didn't pay $17.50, uh, unfortunately, your option is not VIP. Um, so that's the biggest indicator right there. If you did do the all-inclusive $17.50, then you are VIP. Or my old VIPs are those that did the all-inclusive or did the classes, did the, old, uh, um, did the hands-on classes, though. So they're the VIPs. They're the ones that's in a specific group. Um, Facebook group. And so they're, that's how I'm going to communicate with you guys. So if you know you took one of my classes and you did VIP and you ain't in that Facebook group and you kind of want to be a part of the movement, you need to get in the group. <laughs> All right. So let me go. She, oh, I like that, Nikia. She, I like that. Posh Academy Textile Wholesale Warehouse. That's a lot, but I like it. <laughs> No, I don't have a price yet. It depends on all that's all that we're doing, and if I'm bringing in other speakers or things like that. So you guys, will, I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't no cheap. If y'all was complaining about seventeen fifty, think of a two day class being all. All only thing I'm gonna do is all inclusive because I, I, it, it, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of get on my nerves a little bit when somebody jump on the bandwagon of the class only and then last minute, oh, I want to add a kit. Oh, I want to add fabric. Well, you can't add fabric now, baby, because fabric ain't enough time to process it. So I'll be trying to gear you guys. The only people that I would not suggest all inclusive for is those that have a lot of equipment or those that have a lot of fabric already. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it to you guys. That's why I do a class only option because you may already have everything. But if you don't, it bought, I, I don't want you guys like, all right, let me just jump on the class and I'll get stuff later. No, when you come to class, you are so excited. And if you go home and don't have equipment to practice on, it's a good chance it ain't going to happen. <laughs> it ain't going to happen no time soon. So the whole goal is when you go home, you you still in the you still in the height of everything, right? So you go home and you practice and you just put all that stuff to work and... <laughs> So that's why it's, it's equipping you to be successful when you leave. So that's what it, that's all about. Um, 
Alicia said you doing a, you doing an online in the online class. Like that was created for those that may can't travel or can't get to the, the locations or for my international guys. I have so many people um that does that virtual class that's that's um sorry guys that that's international so they still want to learn but for whatever reason you know they're too far or can't travel or something like that so Anything that's happening, I got something for you, babe, no matter where you locate. <laughs> so just stay tuned, guys. And now, on, can we get to these tips, though? Can we get to the tips? So I do have 10 ways to help you guys build self-discipline because, honestly, let's, let's just be real. Without self-discipline, nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, your business won't flourish. It won't grow. It won't. N not saying you have to be self-disciplined in every area or every aspect of your life because let's just be real. That ain't that ain't like the likelihood of that happening is like very, very, very slim. But you can actually implement self-discipline or um, learn self-discipline, build self-discipline as you go. And the whole point is to the goal is to alleviate and eliminate bad habits. It's, uh, I'm telling you. And you all know when I get to telling my tips, I always do sh uh, sh share stories because I'm, I'm speaking about it because I've done it. It's either helped me or it hasn't helped me. And at the end of the day, that's all I can speak from is my experience, baby. You can't deny me my experience. So even my self-discipline, one of my biggest things was coming to the office, like at a decent time. You know, you figure you have this thing like, oh, I can get up and go whenever I want. But then one thing I can say, and there were some days I didn't want to get up and come, but just even Jazz being here in the office physically, it holds me accountable, right? So that's one of my things. Like I was struggling with that. Do I struggle with it every day? No. But when you're used to being home, I know a lot of you guys, y'all probably with the whole COVID thing, probably changed your, you know, how you normally operate, right? Even with the kids going to school. I had to get in Kayla Tail, and I know she probably watched my live. I don't know. But I had to get in Kayla Tail because her self-discipline kind of fell off a little bit of being. Um, remember, or just having that acknowledgement of physically being in school, having to get up at a certain time and having to catch a bus and, you know, all those repetitive things that you're used to doing. And now that you don't have to do it, you kind of fall into some bad behavior. I know we ain't the only ones. I know we, ain't the, if, if I'm not by myself, I need y'all hit that thumbs up because for one, it helps the channel. And for two, it lets me know I ain't by myself. <laughs> what? Well, Alicia, she said, I took our way at first. Oh, she got the, the sad face. <laughs> so what made you think that you needed my class? At, I, we go through this all the time. We go do this all the time. Afterwards. So Catherine, the VIPs um, are for those that took a hands-on class. That's how you become a VIP member. I'm thinking of some ways. And honestly, it's those that, like, I think it was Alicia. Those that, because now we just turned the membership into a full product. So it's also those that purchase that full class of the, um, the, is, well, it's not called that no more. It's called the Learn Premium Draping course. So that's how you become a VIP. Who? Is that, who are you talking about? You. <laughs> yes, COVID, well, COVID ain't necessary. That COVID ain't mess us up. COVID just changed some things. Uh, shaped some things. COVID did me. COVID helped me. <laughs> I mean, I heard it in the beginning when they shut my little toy down because I was excited about it. But then it helped me to, to really learn what passive income was. And that's some of the stuff that that's just a fraction of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with the YouTube membership guys, because I thought I was making a couple of dollars before I, I did. I I thought I was, but until I got into the passive income stream and then the e-commerce site, it's like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I don't know what you guys think you need, but so many of you, you guys have your own expertise and I, I just would love to help you turn that into some passive income, baby, because that is the, that's the, that's the, the stuff when you wake up and you didn't already hit 20 sales before you even did anything. So that's the stuff that we're going to be covering and um, like the YouTube membership, actually how to do that. So tomorrow is when we go live tomorrow night and as well as the 28th. And this week, that's what we're talking about, how to turn your side hustle, side gig, side anything into actually some income, some making that some passive income. So I'm excited about that. Cindy, oh, I didn't know you went the our way too, Cindy. <laughs> Oh, 
No. So as far as bulk ordering the kid is if bulk is just ordering as many as you want. So if you want a hundred, <laughs> unless you're talking about a continuous roll, you could get that too. You just gotta let us know. And I'm quite sure that those guys would love it because they ain't gotta cut it and package it and all that. I don't know. <laughs> just let me know, right? Rhonda, is there any videos available for learning? What you trying to learn, boo? <laughs> we have a whole library of different tutorials and classes. Um Yes, Alicia, you are. If you need more information, just send, send a ticket to my team. Could you put in that link? I already put it you, in there. You put it in. So if you will see, it's a link in there where you can submit a ticket and they'll get you the information and learn how to, or where it be. You need to be in the group for the um, VIP status. The help link of all of them. Oh, you did? Oh, she's so sweet. I put the join and the text and all that. Oh, y'all turn. Let me find out. Y'all turned this into a whole conversation. Marnita. Marnita asking Cindy and Alicia. What did you not like about the class? Not my class, but I'm I'm not gonna call out no names. So they're not talking about my class. Let's just be clear. Okay. So <laughs> I just want to just put that out there. But can we get into the tips though? Yeah, so Deborah, it is pre-cut. Is is pre-cut, pre-packaged, pre they put it in the poly bags. It's 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 like it should be when you 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 purchasing from a, a warehouse. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so I want to help you guys build some self-discipline. I know we are creative. God dang, Ron, did you too? Wait a minute, y'all not about to turn my thread into, you know, um, I went there too and trying to find out what y'all ain't like about, about it. <laughs> we only have 30 more minutes. All right, Celeste, come on. Okay, so first thing is, like I told you guys, self-discipline without self-discipline, a business will not grow, will not flourish, pr pretty much won't move. You'll keep finding yourself hitting that brick wall because you you know you're, you're stagnant or like i talked about yesterday you're procrastinating you're not getting things done you're not focusing on your top three things that you need to do to be productive for that day so i want to help you guys in that okay and i'm, <laughs> I'm just share with you guys some of the things i did y'all know now i gotta stay on my bullet points and i'll be writing this stuff down so i can stay on on topic but y'all be taking me way left y'all be taking me way left <laughs> Murray say, I definitely need passive income. Murray is not hard at all. I, Murray, wait a minute. Murray, you're not in the membership. Why are you not in the membership, babe? We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Not only talk about it. You guys that is in the membership, let me know if you saw your workbooks because I, it would be helpful if you print your workbooks out prior to the live so we kind of go through it together. Um, she said, oops, not precious class because I love you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Desky, we do have that. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on. So the tip, first thing, like I told you guys yesterday, is avoid the perfectionism, right? You Once, if you fall into, oh, I wanted to be perfect, wanted to be perfect, wanted to be perfect, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to fall into the same traps that I told you yesterday. Either you're, you're not going to do things, you're going to um, procrastinate, you're going to put it off, and you're not going to finish the project. At the end of the day, I need you guys to think of completion. Do you want it to be functional or do you want it to be perfect? A lot of the stuff I have as of right now, at least it's finished. Some of it ain't, but at least it's finished. Then I can always go back, find the areas that I want to improve upon or enhance, and then do it that way. Not only one, do it show whoever you're serving, your audience, your clients, your customers, whoever it is. Not only do it show that you care about your business, it also shows that once a person buys from you, it's not like, all right, we good, right? You still want to nurture them as a, a client or as a customer. Because when they, you guys that's doing events, when they go to have, you know, maybe the first event was a wedding, right? Nine times out of 10 people, a lot of people, especially now, a lot of people get pregnant <laughs> during their honeymoon, baby. <laughs> so when they thinking about that, you know, when they thinking about preparing that, that first birthday or that baby shower or whatever the case may be, you want them to think of you. Not to mention just because if, let's just say you guys are, today doing $500 parties, right? But as you invest in your businesses, as you get better and enhance, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for enhance. As you enhance, you increase your prices or whatever case may be, it's easier to tell those guys that your prices has increased because they see they see the transition. They see the growth as, a as opposed to a new client or a new customer. And if you're still attracting the wrong customers, you can't tell a $500 client that now you charge $17.50. It's just, it's like, like, what? So, 
<laughs> at the end of the day, they don't go, go hand in hand. But when you nurture your your people, your clients, your customers, and things like that, it's so much easier to um, just make changes in your business and them still they still be loyal to you. So let's not, let's get away. Can we get away from perfect? Can we get away from, thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you, Deborah. Number one, avoid perfectionism. Okay. Number two, I don't want you guys to punish yourself if you, if, for, for being successful, right? Or or let's just say achieving something. And I used to do this so much. And I'm, I'm <laughs> Jazz, I got to give you another kudos, another bump up. I got to give you that. Because <laughs> I used to be in this office till seven, eight, sometimes even 10 o'clock at night, right? And it's not to say I wasn't being productive. It's just I would get my things done. And then I still would busy myself up with other stuff, trying to get ahead. But at the end of the day, I'm not getting ahead. I'm burning myself out. I'm frustrated. I'm ready to tear people's heads off because I'm probably hungry. <laughs> so if you finish something, what? <laughs> so if you finish something, right? Don't don't beat yourself up and then try and do some other stuff. If you finish, like we have been out this office for the what's the latest we left here? Four? Five. Five is the latest we've left here. So it's like I if she wasn't here. I would probably still be here. Like, you know what? I could get this done. I could get this done. And then before you know it, I'm I'm going home. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm probably pissed off driving in this Atlanta traffic. So if you finish early, finish early. Be done. <laughs> That's why I said have your top three, right? Have your top three that if you get those done, then you have you've made a productive day. That's why those three has to be important. And they should definitely be something that is tied to your money generating activities. That is the first thing we do when we come in here is to check out our help desk, um, nurture whoever asks us about classes or whatever. They, they're money generating activities, right? So they should be at the top. You guys got something that you supposed to did a follow up on or whatever the case may be. That should be one of the first things you do in the daytime. Because at the end of the day, once you get your money making task out the way, if you want to busy yourself up, you can. I'm just going to ask you not to because then you're going to end up on the feed. Like some of us was yesterday saying, I'm burnt out. I'm tired. I've been working. I've been. <laughs> no, just because you're a business owner does not mean you have to be a business slave. Big difference. Big, big difference. Landis, we replied to you, Landis. We replied to you. You ain't reply back. <laughs> mm. that, that's, that's all right, Deborah. I appreciate it. Though. I appreciate you putting it in the comments. Nakia, I love the idea of what you would like to see for more of partnership and teaching us more. So do do we join the old coaching business class or would it be something separate? So I'm not doing the old business coaching right now. That is actually pushed off to 2022 because it's just so much we change it. I told you guys we have an amazing conference space in here. It's just like you just feel like a million dollars when you're sitting at that table. So it's some it's when we're going to be doing some live events, like some masterminds and all that kind of stuff. So we're not doing the old one. We're not doing the old one. But right now, all the stuff that I'm talking about, like side um, passive income, I'm just doing that on a YouTube membership. And that's like the, the bomb.com place to be. <laughs> that, and that's for you, Nikia. She said, let's get it. Tips. Mary, without passive income, I couldn't do both memberships at the same time. So, Mary, honestly, I think I think you should be almost finished with you. You should be. We could check. We could check. Send them. Send them. Send Jazz a ticket. <laughs> we can check. I think you should be. So, Rhonda, there is more than one membership. There's a Drape It. There's a, well, we don't even offer the Drape It membership no more because it's a product. Um, so, right now, it's only the YouTube membership. That's the only membership that we are launching as of right now. Wait, what is two? <laughs> Deborah, two is don't punish yourself for success. If you're done, be done, right? And th that kind of segues into, that segues into number three, right? Number three is when, you, you got to learn when to switch off. You got to learn. Sometimes I be in here. I told y'all yesterday, I had 50 tabs open, right? And sometimes it could be a, a ticket to pop up or something to pop up. And I have to actually not only shut it down, I got to get rid of the tab altogether. Because for one, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> My attention span is like, I don't think I have none at all. <laughs> right? I, I, right. It's like... I, I'll be sitting here like, what was I just doing? It's crazy. So you have to learn when to switch off. One of the things I switch off a lot is Facebook. I will. Um, 
we're learning this whole little TikTok thing. So I got to learn to like, just put that stuff out because if it's up and I get the notification, dang, I'm like, oh, what, what happened? Somebody, somebody called me in or something like that. And it, it locks me slam off of what I was doing. So you have to know when to switch off. If you are, like I told you guys yesterday, crunching time. If you are less from 11 to 12, you, you doing nothing but follow-ups, do nothing but follow-ups from a lot of you guys have problems with, with your social media. I do too. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> but you got to block out time for that. If it's from two to three, and that's pretty much how we do it now. If it's from two to three, let it only be that when it's done, you're done. So now, and I like, I really like this system that I've implemented. Now we come in, deal with anything, um, tickets, uh, emails, all that. But when it's done, cause it, you really can get hemmed up in that all day. But when we're done for the day, we're done. That's why we, we say we'll get to you within 24 to 48 hours because it don't open back up. Those tabs will not open back up until the next business day. And is, is you kind of just got to build some kind of balance into your, your, your life or your work or whatever it is. Otherwise it's going to be willy nilly all over the place. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Ask me how I know, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you, Deborah. Switch off, right? So number four, if y'all ready for number four, let me know. Put a four in the comments. Killing two birds. Wait a minute. You're or is that aura? Killing two birds right now as I watch. Oh, you killing two birds. What are you doing? See, you, you, you good at multitasking. I'm not, I tell y'all all the time. I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. I'm gonna fall or I'm gonna choke. <laughs> one, of them, one of them is going to happen, right? June 5th here. What's June 5th, Carol? Oh, oh, you're Gemini. Woo -woo. I knew it was something special about you. Thank you guys. Okay, so number four, don't don't wait till the last minute to schedule stuff. Don't wait till the last minute to schedule stuff, especially if it's something with a client, right? Because normally if you if you schedule stuff with a client, I told y'all yesterday, it's going to get and you don't want to do that, right? Or you're going to forget something and then you're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. Even this one, I kind of implement, I don't get it right all the time, I ain't gonna lie. But <laughs> some people, sometimes I get on some people's nerves. One of them people name is Mr. Doc. I, I, I like schedule stuff so far in advance. We could be going somewhere. I've already put it in ClickUp pack for this. And it may not happen till August. But that's just how I am because it helps me stay on top of things. And not to mention, it helps me be just leave idle time for life happens, baby. Life happens. And when life happens, I don't want to be like, oh, my God, I didn't get this. or I didn't get that. At least I am able to look at what was supposed to happen and, and come up with a contingency plan or create the contingency or implement the contingency plan. Don't wait to the last minute to, to, to plan stuff, right? You don't want to schedule anything. The day before, I don't do it now because I kind of have a day-to-day -day coming in here. But the day before, what I used to do, well, before I go to bed, I would leave, and some of you guys may remember this because <laughs> I, I told y'all to do it too. I would write down in my planner or whatever I was operating with at the time. It could have been a piece of paper, baby. It could have been a stick. But I would plan out my next day and I had to, I would have it right there on my nightstand because <laughs> I told you I get sidetracked real. It happened soon as I open my lids. I'm sidetracked. Right. And I used to be one of them folk that would soon. I, first thing I grabbed was my phone. Right. First thing I grabbed was my phone. And then before you knew it, my whole day is robbed with all this whatever it is, requests, emails, DMs, mobile text messages. And I'm like, well, geez, I just lost four hours. So <laughs> I no longer do that. And it's like, it, some, it, was, it was weird in the beginning because now I leave my phone downstairs. For two, I know if I'm itching to get to my phone, because I, I just be wanting to see. Y'all know how it is. If y'all, first thing y'all do is pick up your phone. Give me a, give, give me a phone emoji in the comments. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. So now I will leave my phone downstairs. So I know for one, it's forcing me to get out the bed. And once I'm up, I'm up. It's, I, can, I can't get back in the bed. So once I'm up, I'm up. Now, one, once I get up and go get my phone, it'll kind of gauge me of what I need to do first. And I'll handle again. I already know what my top three is because my phone, I'm a click up level. I, I'm a, I use a project management tool and that'll pop up on my phone first. And that's the first thing I did, right? 
and then I get into my day. But man, before it would be 12 o'clock and guess what? I'm still in bed. I'm working though. I'm working from my phone. But I haven't had no energy. No, I ain't washed my face. It was it's terrible. That's why I told y'all. That's why I had to get this office because I had to create some self-discipline. And this was one of the ways that it helped me a whole, whole, whole lot. Because I, I was, man, I would show up to work <laughs> when I had my home office. Yeah, it looked like I'm, it looked like I'm at work, but I surely had some pajama bottoms <laughs> and some fluffy slippers. Yes, I did. So I'm like, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. All right. So number four, don't wait till the last minute to schedule things out. Right. Give yourself enough time to not only schedule it to actually gauge the job or gauge the task or how much, how long it's gonna take, whatever the case may be. That don't mean, I, I, I tell you one thing, or I think that's or because it just say, oh, York. Just because you have all those things don't mean you're good at multitasking. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. When you say you're good at, a, a lot of you guys got the same thing. Y'all got, and to mention, y'all got a full-time job. So y'all had the kids, y'all have the husbands, the businesses, and some of you guys got a full, this is my full-time job, but some of you guys still have a full-time job. So that doesn't necessarily mean you're great at multitasking. And even when I was doing it, when I first got started, all those elements were in place. I wasn't I wasn't bad at it, but I wasn't great. The, the, how I became great, we had to have conversations. <laughs> Everybody knew that at some point, it's your time to take an L for the team. Because <laughs> and that's why I think that's why I was able to just have such great support because those conversations had to happen. I didn't go into a business of like, okay, because I knew it was going to take a lot of my time or I knew it was going to take me away from certain areas and certain elements and certain things of my life. But I, we had to have a conversation. This is what it's going to look like. So when I'm lacking in a, in a certain area, you need to step in. And thankfully, I, I, I had that in place. So it was amazing. But I, I'm very familiar because I hear it a lot about you guys that's maintaining all this stuff and don't have support elements in place. You may be, you know, this is one of the things that just rips my spirit when you have a spouse or a significant other, or even if it's a boyfriend and they do the, um, you know, your business ain't making no money thing. They need to be a, they need a good sucker punch to the throat for real. <laughs> they do. Because when you guys tell me that stuff, it just rips my spirit because there's nothing worse than having or, or, or trying to, um, Live your, I'm frozen. Okay. There's nothing worse than trying to live your dream or pursue your dreams. And then you got to hear that. Not to mention the stuff we already deal with, doubt and else self, right? Who felt that? <laughs> Did you say five yet? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute, <laughs> Deborah. Deborah is on it. Thank you, Deborah. I knew it was you, Aura. She said, bless them with a beat down. And it's absolutely when you, it's so many that, I, uh, so many of my, my um, members that I speak with, that's like a big struggle in the household, in the household. And I get it because it can become a financial strain, but that's when I'm, communication is everything. Like, I, I mean, that's just my thing. Communication is everything. So, you know, just because you have all those elements in place, like I was saying, don't necessarily mean you're great at multitasking. Um, and yeah, that's just don't mean you're great at multitasking. All right, so let's go for number five. Okay, and this is one of my, my big ones. I still kind of do this a little bit. I'm just going to be honest because I'm a Gemini. And I'm over 40. So <laughs> you got to watch out for that downtime anxiety, right? Like I told you guys earlier, sometimes when it's downtime, it needs to be downtime. Like we just had a conversation about this tour. Like when is actual downtime? Because I can easily fill up a calendar just because I don't know. That's how us creatives are. We feel like if we ain't doing anything or checking boxes that we're wasting time. I know that's how I am. I know that's how I am. But you kind of got to watch for that. Let downtime be downtime. And here lately, you no, know, I kind of do it, but I normally would do it when I'm getting burnt out. I'll just take off and go on a quick getaway just to get filled back up. But here lately, even just realizing that, you want to know what? I had a successful week. Let me just relax this weekend. And I just been doing some crazy stuff like <laughs> zip lining, going to uh, uh, what you call them things with the rides, carnivals, uh, just 
crazy, not crazy, but just stuff that I normally would not have done. I probably would be in the office working because I don't know. I, I do enjoy working, but at the end of the day, it can burn out. So if you're finished your daily to do's, don't put nothing on that list or don't busy yourself up with more tasks. Find something that you enjoy. Read a book. That's one of my goals is to get back into actually reading books. Right now, I still listen to them like when I'm in a car, but I, there's nothing like <laughs> flicking a page, baby. It's something about a page. It just feel amazing. So I, I want to get back into a physical, reading a physical book. I ain't do it yet, but that's my goal. So number five, watch out for your downtime anxiety, right? If you have downtime, let it be downtime. Sit outside and sip some tea, baby, or some coffee. Last year... This year, I wasn't able to do it because somebody didn't redo my garden. I'm just going to throw that out there in case they watch. It. But last year, I, we did this garden, right? And I'm a garden lover. And so I, every morning, and this is when I was working from home. So every morning before I did anything, I would sit outside in the garden and I had a, like a bird feeder thing. And those that kind of been with me for a minute, y'all know, listening to nothing but birds chirping <laughs> for me is amazing. Because where I come from, you don't hear that. You may hear some gunshots or you may hear some sirens. So to actually be able to just sit in silence, that was just my way to meditate and just appreciate Mother Earth for bringing me thus far. I used to do that every day. So that was my, you know, that was my downtime. And I really like I, that was my way of filling up because then I would go jump on live or like just be doing whatever I'm doing on a thousand. But I had to get filled back up. In order to, you know, to do that, because through the course of a day, boy, we <laughs> we get burned out. We did. <laughs> Lashina, hey, Lashina. But if they don't, they can go kick Ross. Wait a minute. Oh yes, it's definitely important to have supportive people around you. Absolutely. So, dream, who dream creations? Tell me who you are, sweetie. That name looks so familiar. It really do. It looks like I just sent you an email. I don't know. <laughs> so, ClickUp is a project management tool. Um, I'm a systems lover. So me and my team, we use ClickUp and we use Slack. We use Slack to communicate. We use ClickUp for tasks. And that's how we um, track what's who needs to do what, what needs to get done. Um, and I even put my daily stuff in ClickUp because it's just a good way for me to be held accountable. Um, yes. No, not yeah. You could say downtime be downtime, but yeah, watch out for the downtime anxiety. Thank you, Deb. See, I, Deb, we can ready, we can ready promote you to something. <laughs> Cindy, I know, and it's okay. It's nothing really wrong. Let me tell you guys. Y'all, a lot of you guys kind of be hauling yourself about I'm such a workaholic. It's really nothing wrong with being a workaholic when you love what you do. When it becomes an issue or a problem is when you are doing all the things of things you ain't supposed to be doing. And that's pretty much where it has been for me for the past few weeks, not few weeks, few months, because we've just added so many different elements to the business. And yeah, it can only go that way for so long. Like you operating everything or you doing everything. And I'm like, nah, like that's just crazy. Cause then you get to those moments like, nah, I don't like this no more. And I love my business. I love what I do. So I had to fire myself in areas that I knew I was effing up. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. And that's what I had to do. And I had to get focused on the things I enjoy, such as these, the lives. I love going live with you guys every day. You mean tell me I get to run my mouth and somebody listening? Because, you know, Kayla and them be like, oh, ma. So it's like, <laughs> it's like super dope to me. And um, that's so it's nothing wrong with being a workaholic, Cindy. You just got to, as long as you focusing on mainly, and you got a couple businesses over there, baby. As long as you focusing on the area, your area of expertise that you enjoy, when when it becomes a problem is when you're doing all the things, the stuff you ain't supposed to be doing. A sound mom, I love that. Sound mom would do you well. She said the ghetto bird. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys are so funny. All right, so let me go to number six. Organization is key, Rhonda. It is. But sometimes, sometimes you could go overboard. And I, I felt myself going overboard. I am an organizational freak. I have a big calendar here for the year, right? Then I have my Google calendar that's in my phone. Then I have my calendar that's in ClickUp. Then I have my planner, the writing. Then I have one on my fridge. It just was, it was ridiculous. I was like, okay. It kind of made me feel like, 
All right, am I getting old before my time? Because I need a reminder for everything. So <laughs> I had to really train myself to, I would eliminate one thing at a time. So I would eliminate the planner. Then I felt like, you know, I felt a little anxiety, like, oh my God, where my planner? Where my planner? Where my planner? And then I learned to rely on my phone. Well, no, it, it wasn't my phone immediately. It was ClickUp. I learned to rely on ClickUp. But then I'd be in ClickUp and I like I'm out and can't remember something. And, you know, it's just like I need something accessible to my phone. So now it's like I'm training myself to put everything in my phone on my Google Calendar. So I just need one mode, right? I need my Google, Google Calendar in this calendar because I'm sitting right in front of it. And if I need to say something specific, like, oh, we'll be in Charlotte on the 17th. Instead of before, I used to be like, I don't know the dates. You got to go check the site. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> so that, that there are my two modes of being organized. That's like all I need is perfect for me. If I do anything else for me, I feel like it's overkill because I will have 50 million planners. I'll have stickies in my car on the dashboard. All right. All right. That's a little ridiculous. Right. So I took it back. All right. Let me know. I know everyone and tell She said, be quiet. Huh? Tashina, and don't fire yourself from everything. Just do one thing at a time, babe. Because when you fire yourself from everything, even us that don't know how and enjoy delegating, it can become overwhelming because now you, you you had all the power. And now when you go to delegate and give things, it's like, oh, what am I going to do? The answer is operate in your zone of genius, baby. So <laughs> don't, don't give it all up. Kind of, you got to like just, just. Give it out in spurts, and that way you'll it'll it'll just easily transition. Otherwise, you're going to feel stripped, and you're going to go right back into your old habits. Okay, so number six, we pretty much kind of talked on it, but definitely realizing that self discipline and needs practice, and it's pretty much what I was just saying with you. Um, you got to practice, right? Like even when I was talking about my planner just now. I couldn't just go full throttle and take everything from everywhere and just be stuck with this in my phone. It would drive me nuts. I probably would have a little panic attack because I was so used to going in the kitchen and like, okay, I got to do this at 12, do this at two, do that, bam, or being able to open my planner and look at my week and like, okay. Da, da, da. And then when that's gone, I would freak out if I took it all away at the same time. So that's why I was saying, Take one way, one thing away at a time and then get in the habit of learning a new habit by getting rid of an old habit. It's going to take practice. I don't know how long it took me to get in the habit of drinking water every day. Like, uh, so, now I'm not going, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and say I drink eight bottles because I don't. Right? I don't. But at least <laughs> I have my water intake three times, at least three times a day. Um, but it took a long time. Like I had to, I even would try to app. They had an app, baby, that remind you to drink water. I had to practice that thing until it became a, a habit. And I was replacing an old habit, which was drinking Coke soda with drinking water. So practice, practice, practice. Bye, Celeste. Practice, practice, practice. And number eight. Oh, wait a minute. Number seven. I'm sorry. So number six, Deb, if you're still here, is realize that self-discipline, you got to practice at it, right? And then number seven is, <clears throat> this works for me. So if something isn't working, check the time of the day, right? You kind of got to know how, you got to know your, how your body reacts to certain times of the day. I love working out. However, let's just say Doc, love working out too. He like working out at night. I like working out in the morning. So anytime if I was to try and do it outside of the time that I like, I would be grumpy or like, oh my God. And like, <laughs> you know, instead of doing 10 push ups, I'd do five. And it's because that's not normally, that's not how my body grab. My body is not welcoming workout that time of night, right? So, or even like some people, like with him, prime example, him, anything dealing with meetings, it's morning guy, morning, it got to get done in the morning. And if it doesn't, if it, it's a different time in the morning, it's like it's, it's not it's not that same kinetic energy. Right. So if something is not working well for you, check the time of day. I know for me recently when I was doing partial late night biz, which is why I had to stop doing it every week. It's because I was transitioning from work at home to work in the office. And when I was doing it, I didn't enjoy it as much. It's like I would have to psych myself up or get myself pumped to do it because I wasn't that excited <laughs> because I felt like I've been done all my work all day. 
I just didn't feel like doing it. So that's why I, I just had to transition and go from partial late night biz to now just doing afternoon stuff. Afternoon, I'm, it works for me. I'm excited. I'm, I got all the energy in the world. If I was to go home later tonight and try and do it, I would be depleted. So just look at the time of the day if you are trying to, like if you, if you see something that's not working, it's just, you, you may just got to change the time of the day. Like some of you guys that want to work out, and I know you may have a job and all this stuff and all that. And it's and for me, it's, it's just so hard to work out at night. That don't mean I don't like it. It don't mean I won't do it. But I, it just works better for me in the daytime. Yeah, or you got operating his own genius, baby. So number eight, don't whatever you don't like doing, don't schedule that as your last task. I don't like social media. I don't. So you guys will really, you'll probably see us responding to something or something, but you won't see us posting stuff in the evening or late afternoon. Cause by that time, that's when I like to do my physical planning. Like in the morning, just before noon, just before you see me get on live, that's when you'll see me in your inbox. That's when you'll see me in your DMs. That's when you'll see me in your mobile community, whatever the case may be. Cause I just want to get it out, to get it out the way. Like some people call it, um, Eat the frog. Like some people call it eat the frog. It's something you hate, you don't like doing. I mean, and just do it. Get it out the way. If it's something you know you don't like, don't plan it to be the last thing, right? Just get it out the way. That way it's done and you can get on to the more things that you enjoy. I love planning. it. I love writing things on my calendar because to me, it looks like productivity. But I also know I serve an audience and I have to do that too. So I want to do that in the morning. Get it out the way. Got it? Good. All right. Number nine. <laughs> this, is, this is an important one. I used to do this, right? I would work, 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 work. And I just did it yesterday, too. So I would go home. He'd be like, you eat anything? I'm like, nah. I, I must was, I don't know. I must, <laughs> I don't know. I must was grumpy. I don't know. And it's so funny because we, we have this little joke. Like, he'll say, you have your snicker? Remember that? <laughs> Remember that commercial, y'all, with the Snickers? Like, if you didn't get a Snicker, you turn it to somebody else. So it's so funny because that, that would be our Lord joke, right? And that's like my way of knowing or the indicator of him, him saying, I'm being a little grumpy. He's like, you had your Snicker yet? So <laughs> that's how it was yesterday. So today, guys, it's only a TV dinner, but at least I'm making sure I'm putting something in my body um, to, you know, just to make sure that I eat. Because yesterday we was in here, I didn't eat at all. And even a few days last week, like Jazz, she'll order her food. With, and I just, I, I don't know, mentally I'm in a, and I just won't eat. So I said, okay, I, I got to stop that. So guys, eat. You ain't got to eat a full meal, but just make sure you're putting something in your body throughout the course of the day. Don't be one of those that just eat one big meal and be done. In the morning, I'll try to grab a banana or some almond. I'll try to do something. If nothing else, I'll get my mojo. <laughs> I'll have some kind of cough, something or some snack and bacon. Y'all know I love bacon. Cindy, don't you say nothing. I'll have some, some bacon or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was a late reaction. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll have some bacon or something, right? Um, so, and then you know, just just eat throughout the course of the day to kind of keep you definitely um some nutrients in your body so you don't go and chop someone's head off. And definitely getting away from the computer, like just getting up, stretching. Like jazz is good with that. I'm not when I, once I come and plant myself here, I'm normally here till we leave. Um I'd be wanting to get up and walk around, but it don't happen, baby. <laughs> it don't happen. But that's that's bad. That's bad. So you guys, make sure you're eating through the course of the day. Get up, walk around if you are doing computer work or whatever the case may be. Things like that. Get your joints moving. Yeah, sure. So last week, I, was it last week? No, maybe a few weeks ago. I actually, well, I have a fridge, but it's normally for beverages in here. And I brung in a, a microwave. So I, I said, I don't know, it's just me. When I'm, when, once I get in the office, I'm here. I just need everything to be here so I'm good. <laughs> so it's nothing I need other than a porta potty. And I ain't, I ain't bringing that. But <laughs> I will get up to go to the restroom. But um, don't do that. That's like bad. That's bad. You definitely need to get up, walk around, and all that good stuff. And my last tip for the day, find hidden time. A lot of us run around. And say, I'm, I'm, I say it all the time. I say it all day. I ain't got time for that. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. At the end of the day, 
You really do. If it's something that you want to do, you will find the time. I'm telling you guys, when I was planning this whole business thing and I'm like, okay, I knew I really wanted it and I would struggle to get up early. But guess what I did? I would get up early before I had to go to work. What are you doing over there? Oh, Oh, okay. When I would get up before I go to work and work on my business, right? And even though once I got to work, I still, I just had the freedom to still work on my business. But that was my focus time. The kids was going to school. I no, It was no, no noise around. I would get up early, work on my business. Whereas though, if it was something else, I probably would have said I didn't have time. But I sure found time to work on that business. <laughs> Key is, it's, it's, it's hidden time. It's hidden pockets of time everywhere. A lot of you guys, I know y'all struggle with running the nine to five and running the kids in the household. I know, I know, I know. You got to find pockets of time to work on your dream. If that's when the kids are asleep, that's when the kids are asleep. If that's you got to have a conversation with the husband, say, look, this is, I, I, I need an hour. <laughs> It's time for you to have a conversation, boo, because at the end of the day, the only thing that's stopping you from whatever you want to achieve is you. It ain't that you don't have time. You got time. You got to find it. <laughs> yes. So thank you, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you putting all of the tips up there. Working on the, the computer. I know. So I'm so glad. I told you guys when I first transitioned into this office, it was for me to focus, right? Really focus and separate home life and work, you know, home life and work life. And it is it's really working now. It's like working phenomenal. But I had to learn self-discipline. I had to stop procrastinating. I had to stop finding excuses. I had to stop all that stuff. Now, I'm not going to say on any given Tuesday, it don't still happen. But then here we are on Wednesday. It's gone. <laughs> so. That's all I got, guys. Do you guys have any questions? If you do not, I am going to sign off. I've done my hour here. Again, tomorrow we are going to be co uh, covering how to turn your side gigs, side hustle, whatever it is, into actual income. And this is going to be a two-part training. The part one is happening tomorrow night at, is it, I ain't put the time up there. It's eight or nine? Nine. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, that's just, she's amazing. And then the second part is the 28th. That's actually when we finish the tour. We'll be back on the 28th. That's when we'll wrap up um, Parsley Late Night Biz for the second part of the training. Same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, I will uh, peek in for Welcome Wednesdays to welcome all of my new audience members, all of my new followers, all of my new everyone. Not to mention around three, between three and four, we will be at the actual warehouse. So not only will I be um, open, well, they probably have it already open, but I'll be able to see all of the inventory that we have in stock, as well as cutting some to make our new swatch cards. And we're going to let you guys see. So that is all I have. If you don't have any other questions, I am going to sign off again. We have... I can't remember which ones are sold out. But all this week, again, you guys, are, we are keeping the flash sale. That 598 sale is gone. That was <laughs> that was Friday, right? That was a one-day sale. And a couple of y'all jumped on that immediately. So yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> jumped on that immediately. So, but for now, we are uh, after the 16th, because that's the day we actually leave. Well, it's really the 15th. When we actually leave. Sales will be cut off. The reason why, even if we're out, you cannot buy a ticket because we won't have any equipment or fabric for you. So if you do not purchase your ticket before the 15th, unfortunately, you won't be able to. If there's some, say, say class isn't until the 27th. If you need a payment arrangement, I definitely have no issue of um, allowing that and setting that up for you. But I need to know by the 15th so that one you can have a practice kit and two you can have practice fabric other than that the only ones that will have practice equipment are those that are already registered so you're welcome cheryl <laughs> so that's all i got that's all i have guys have an amazing tuesday and i will see you guys for welcome wednesday